two, one. Hey, how y'all doing today? All right. Good, good. Looking good. Ma'am, I, I see you. you. You got some trophies and stuff in your hand. And, 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 God, who is this young man beside you? This is my husband. Your husband. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's, could you state your name and tell me uh, where you from, ma'am? My name is Deborah Dunn. I'm from Jacksonville, North Carolina. Well, Jacksonville, North Carolina. Yes, right Up there where the Marines hang out at. Uh, is that a, that's a Marine beside you too, huh? Running over. <laughs> Love her Marine. Brought a Marine yes. with you. I see you holding some hardware right there. Your husband got one and you have one. Yes. Will you want to explain those trophies to me? Yes. Well, I won first place figure, class right. A tonight, as well as overall. And there were a total of three classes. And wow. I won the whole show tonight. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. Is that like an accomplishment or something in your life or you been been there, done that? Um, I have won some, but it is always an accomplishment because right. you have to always come better, working at your body to get better. And things. So it's always an accomplishment when you reach goals. Wow, wow. So so, so coming in first place it most definitely is a, is a, a good accomplishment. Yes. How about you? You proud of that, sir? I am because she put in the hard work. Right, right, right. So it's, it's evident he supports you 100% because even when we went and found him, he was sitting up front. You yes. know, yeah, so he, it's evident that man is supporting, so you know he's yes. a keeper now. You yes. keep that Marine beside you. And for nothing else to go out there and shoot somebody in the yard, you keep him. <laughs> That's what Marines do. What motivates you, ma'am, to, to, to do this? Well, what motivates me is just um, staying in shape. I've been competitive all my life. I've been involved in sports. And there aren't many things for women to do, actually, after I get out of high school. And I was in a gym working out and saw a flyer on this, and I loved to be on stage. Okay. So I said, hey, give it a shot. It's just kind of like theater. I just got to pose or dance. Right. And, uh, been doing it ever since, and I love it. Well, I watched, well, I watched the crowd react, and of course, you've seen the crowd reaction. I thought your last competition was going to be stiff, and it was. So yeah. I want to add, I don't want to de degrade you. Oh. I don't want to downplay you winning, because your last competition yeah. was tough. You had some competition on your hand. Oh, yeah. Okay, you had some competition. Yeah. So what, what do you think that you could have had, or what did you do doing that last tough competition that made you outshine the other competitive. It, it, without using names and nothing like that, what do you think you did as an individual mm -hmm. to make you win that overall trophy? Well, um, a lot of people I'm hearing from, they love my presentation. Mm -hmm. They love my presentations. And then I got to say to everybody, it's always them glutes. <laughs> it's always them glutes. Y'all in it in. And them glutes. <laughs> them glutes. Man, them glutes pay, pay the yeah, way up. I'm going to say them glutes. <laughs> I think got me over the hump. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good thing. That's, that's real good. Well, evidently, yes. something got you over the hump because I, as I observed, I told myself, I do not want to be the judge of that. <laughs> I just don't want to be the judge. So yes. that's why I'm not judging. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself. How, you, how do you sponsor yourself or what gyms you work at or anything like that? Well, I am looking for sponsors. I don't have one at the time. Mm -hmm. I work out at TT Fitness Gym as well as French Creek on the Marine Corps Base. Right. So, but what I do do, I'm a personal trainer as well. Okay. So I do train clients who want to compete. Matter of fact, one of my girls was here tonight. Her name is Jennifer Hardis. Okay, it's okay. And um, she got second place. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. So Good. she has won. And she also had uh, two children. Wow. Just, uh, last year and stuff. And she's back on stage now. So wow. it, it transforms your life. Now, now you have train her? Yes, I did at that time. Yes. Wow, so I think I think that's another accomplishment. And, and then I helped her get started. You leading from the front, cause exactly. even though I mean, even though she came in second, which is a compliment, maybe her accomplishment in her life. Yes, you know, everybody has their set goals, but she's seeing the person that started off and helped her out win first. So you know what she's saying to herself now. I can win first. Yes. I can win. So that might be her motivation. Yes. That's good. That's excellent that you did that. That's, that's excellent. I, I noticed that you said you had two children also. Yeah, I have three. Three we kids. Three children. Three kids. Three grown children. Wow, grown kids. Grown. Wow. <laughs> y'all, y'all like they are grown, grown. Yes. Wow, that's that, that, that's 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 incredible. It's incredible. Yeah. That's that's good because you see, not knowing your age, but to have three grown children, you got to be forty something, maybe thirty five, forty. Try 50. Who's 50? You are. She's 50. I just turned 50. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> God is good. He is. God is good. He's good. See? God is good. Tell you that. Keep this. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
Keep, does it keep you healthy also at that age, you think? Yes, yes, I do. I honestly do believe that it keeps you healthy for any age as well because it keeps the injuries down. And if you have injuries, you have quick recoveries, especially right. if you have surgeries yes. and things of that nature. And I, I had this person said to me from my surgeon that because you're in such good shape, you will rebound quickly. Wow. So that's one of the important things of even being in shape because surgery is a very serious right. thing. And so it just helps you get back on your feet quicker by being in physical shape. Well, it's motivating me because I'm 46, so, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting there saying, wow, I'm turning 50 years soon. And, and, and I'll be honest with you, when I, by the time I'm 50, I'm going to start competing also. Awesome. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to yes. do that at the age of 50. When I, yes. I'm waiting on my kids to get through because I got two boys. That's one's graduating now and the other one's graduating uh, next year. So yeah. once that happens, I'm going to get myself to this working out circuit too. Because yeah. not, only, not only for the, comp competitive, the competitiveness, but just for to keep my body healthy. Yeah, exactly. And that's why when, when you send that message out that you're 50 years old, people that look at this going to be like, you got to be joking. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you're going to get a lot of hits on this on YouTube because they're going to be shocked <laughs> okay. that a 50-year-old lady is still doing it. Lady, may I add, men? <laughs> lady who's out there doing it, we have no excuse not to be doing it. That's ladies and men. Yep. So what are your future goals and plans? Well, my future goal is to actually hold my, have my own fitness uh, course uh, shop studio right. in the future and train others, as well as uh, participate in my neighborhood to work with children mm. in different sports to help them. Because I also ran track. Okay. So to help train teenagers and kids get ready for sports activities as well. And cheerleaders come out doors and cheerleaders. Right, right, right. <laughs> I, I, I got to add, though, sir, I remember when I first ran into it, she, she, of course, you was the first thing out of her mouth about them. You know, my husband's out there is Marine Corps. See, I, guess, I don't know if you overhear me tell somebody I was retired or whatever, but your smile, your smile does a lot for you. And a lot of people can hide behind a phony smile. Right. But I want I want to tell you, and this is coming from me. It's your smile is genuine, and yes. not not a hundred percent. It's hundred and ten percent. Your smile is genuine because behind that smile is a true-hearted person, a godly person, a family-oriented person, and 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 your your whatever your future holds for you. The good Lord got good things coming for you. You just keep that focus that you keep because at 50, girl, I'm going to tell you right now, and YouTube, you're going to witness this. <laughs> there are millions of 50-year-olds right now wish they was in your shoe and at your health level at that same stage where they can say it keeps my surgeries down and my injuries down. There are a lot of 50-year-olds wish they can say that. So y'all take note from this young lady. She did a wonderful job. And, and if you have, do you have anything else to add? Anybody else you want to thank? I do. I, I can testify that, you know, just don't quit, stay fit. Right, well, that's, see, that's, that's, that sums that's it up. That sums it up. That sums it up. Well, on behalf of the Gold Classic Young Women in North Carolina 2011, I want to thank both of y'all for all your hard efforts you put into this competition. And again, congratulations for winning first place. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.